What's going on guys, McSkillet here with another CSGO video and today I'm going to be doing another best weapon skin combinations video. This is basically a series where I show off some really cool and crazy looking gun skins that can be made by taking a skin from one skin and then putting it on a different weapon. So starting off we've actually got uh, this Glock skin right here which is the um, Impact Drill Glock. Um, I believe it's from an M249 skin but if you put it on the Glock it actually looks pretty interesting and cool. Um, definitely a cool looking Glock and um, I also now I can use the shadow daggers to um, you play around with this and this, these are the shadow daggers neon kimono but um, I also played around with some more bulldozer stuff the bulldozer skin looks really cool on a lot of other weapons and knives it looks pretty neat on anything but uh, it works pretty well on the Glock as you can see there and now this next uh, skin I actually was not expecting this to look so cool but this is actually the AK-47 atomic alloy um, this is really cool and it's really shiny as well it really shines uh, when it's in the sun and it's pretty neat looking I did not expect that to work so well on the AK but it actually is pretty cool I think and uh, next up we've got the uh, nuclear skull skin on the op um, of course this this is a pretty nice and uh, detailed skin from the Mac 10 it works pretty well in just about any other weapon but um, it's pretty cool on the op as you can see there but um, here we've actually got the uh, Dooley's bl uh, Blaze, like the Blaze skin from the Deagle or the UMP. It actually works kind of well in the Dooley's. Uh, some parts of it are kind of glitched out, but I think it's pretty cool. And um, I definitely would use these if they're in the game. So those are the Dooley's bla uh, Blaze. But um, here we've actually got the Emerald Shadow Daggers. Of course, the emerald pattern looks really nice on any knife, but I'm, I'm able to test out the shadow daggers now, and here's what they look like on the shadow daggers. I'm not the biggest fan of the shadow daggers. I definitely like um, all the other knives more than these, but uh, they're still sort of cool and pretty shiny, as you can see there. Now, next up, we've actually got the M4A1S nuclear um, threat on the uh, M4A1S, of course. I don't know what I was going for there, but uh, of course, this is normally a Tech 9 or a P250 skin, and um, it actually looks kind of cool on the M4A1S. The nuclear symbol is a little bit like cut off, but I still think it's pretty sweet, as you can see here. And um, I've also got the M9 Bayonet Impact Drill. Of course, <clears throat> that first Glock from the start of the video was also an Impact Drill Glock. And um, I think this is sort of cool on an M9 bayonet. The handle is completely neon green and the, it's just a normal blade. But as you can see here, we've actually got the 5.7 uh, fade. Um, I think this looks really nice and um, it definitely looks like a real skin that would be in the game, even though it's just made from combining skins. But that's the 5.7 fade, a very cool 5.7. Um, of course, it has my blue gem name tag because that's the one that I replaced. But next up, uh, right here, we actually have the Tech 9 case hardened. Unfortunately, um, it didn't really give me like a nice blue or a nice like blaze pattern. It just gave me a pretty um, bland looking case hardened texture. But I think the Tech 9 case hardened can definitely be a cool skin in the game. And you'd actually be able to get like blue gem Tech 9. So that'd be really cool and there'd be some very nice rare variants of the skin. But um, as you can see here, this is the op splash jam, of course, from the Scar um, splash jam. But uh, I've also got the Karambit's water elemental. Um, this is pretty cool, except the only problem is it only works on the um, back side when you're testing it out. For some reason, the play side is kind of messed up, probably because the water elemental skin isn't too big. But it works really well on the back side, and I also played around with some stuff on the falchion knife because um, I haven't done any falchion knives yet, but uh, the Cobalt Disruption, I always say destruction, but it's Disruption, actually looks pretty pretty sweet on all, all the knives, including the falchion knives, so that's a pretty cool thing to put on knives. And um, <clears throat> next up, I'm not going to say this looks good, but it just looks really crazy, and it's kind of cool how all the like, fade stuff works on the AK. But as you can see here, this is actually the AK-47 fade, so that's a pretty insane looking skin right here. And um, next up, I also played with some more knife um, textures on the Glock, because all the knife textures seem to work really well on the Glock. And then um, we actually have a Glock Doppler. Um, I'm not exactly sure what phase that is, but uh, here we've actually got a Banat Pink DD Pat. Someone suggested this from the last video, and yeah, the Pink DD Pat works very well on lots of knives and skins. There it is right there. And um, next up, we've actually got a Galil skin. Gotta show a little bit of love for the Galil, even though I rarely ever use the Galil. But uh, here's what it looks like with the Radiation Hazard skin on it. Not too bad looking, definitely better than a lot of the other Galil skins in the game right there. And next up, uh, this is actually the Karambit um, Electric Hive. 
Not my favorite skin, but sort of cool. Some people suggested that. And um, here's actually the, I thought I'd do one auto skin, the auto crimson web. Sort of cool looking. And uh, yeah, you gotta have a nice skin for your skill gun as you can see there. And um, finally, this is actually one of my favorites. This is the AK-47 Abyss. Um, I think this is really sweet looking, how the dark wood is still, um, it just kind of looks nice with the Abyss texture on it. I would definitely use this AK, although it's pretty crazy looking, even though Val and Valve would probably not add something like this to the game, but it's still pretty cool, and that is the AK Abyss right there. And um, right here is actually the Bayonet Amber Fade. A lot of the like Amber Fade and um, Acid Fade stuff from the pistols works pretty well on knives as well, and I'm also, I also tried putting the acid fade on the P215. It's not a bad result. Um, but that's pretty much it for the video, guys. I have uh, two other parts of this video showing off some other cool combinations. You can check those out if you want, and I have plenty of other skin videos as well um, on CSGO. So that's pretty much it for the video, guys, and I'm Skillet, and I'll see you guys later.